now happy new year can you hear me now is it better so hope everyone's doing well um how is your new year going cool <laughs> i think uh, this is actually a bit better so what are you guys up to how is your new year um, are you planning for the year? Or are you continuing your to-dos from last year? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to get into worship. Yeah, mine's great. God is in control. <laughs> um, I just um, thank him, to be honest. Happy New Year. Who's that? Good now. I don't know. So I guess your name is Good, right? Happy New Year. This is Toyin. Toyin, right? Happy New Year. <laughs> I just want to get into worship now. Lord, guide us today as we pray and lead us in your word that it will be what we need to hear, that it will touch our hearts. And as we share it with others, Lord God, help them to, to see you, even if they don't know you. Those who stumble on this page, help them to stay, help them to find you, help them to know you as we do in the mighty name of Jesus. So what we're just praying about this year is we're praying about the falling away. Those who have fallen outside of the church, um, they are called the remnant. I am one of them. Um, I don't know if you can relate yourselves, um, but it's those, the Bible say, um, states, states this verse, I'm going to read it now, um, you can find it, I believe in Matthew chapter 18, Matthew chapter 18 verse 12, and it says, how think ye? How think ye if a man have an hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray? Though he not leave the ninety-nine and goeth into the mountains and seek that which has gone astray. We have to <laughs> seek. You know, what does this mean? It means that the falling away. That, you know, you have your congregation and there's still there there's some sheep who have fallen away there's some sheep who may not fit in there's some sheep who are going for certain things there's some sheep that are hurt there's some sheep that are being attacked by wolves there are different types of sheep and they have fallen away from the 99 they have fallen away from the 99 and I am one of them but God has guided me and this is what what inspired let's talk with Caroline and you know this 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 scripture is really 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 personal because I it's not just me that is noticing it's not just me that I'm noticing that I'm going through this but there's other people that um, I check online and you know they have pages but they have chosen to attack they have chosen to attack um in a sense um they have chosen to attack <laughs> however they, that or, however you want to like um describe that however that looks like they have chosen to attack um some have fallen away and left god 
the remnant. Some have fallen away. The sheep, some have fallen away and left God. Um, they weren't, no one went to seek after them. Some have been betrayed. Some, you know, their heart is broken. Some have been possessed by demons. Some are being seriously, um, you know, some are going through serious witchcraft attacks. They have fallen away. Some are being manipulated. You know, but what God is saying is that it is Him, it is Him, it is his, it's Him and His Spirit that seeks that which has gone astray. Here it has a question mark. So it's like a, it's like a question like, you, aren't you seeing the remnant that has gone astray? What are you doing about it? You know, are they, are, has God, you know, the Bible states that those who were preaching in the beginning, I can't remember the scripture, if you guys remember it, you can type it down there, but like, you know, the Bible states about, the Bible states, those who were, those who were preaching, those who were preaching who are old in um, ministry, and mature in ministry, you know, there's like a sort of falling away for them, they kind of pull away from God. And then it's the, the young, the young, you know, ministers, you know, who God is now, uh, you, you know, who God is using, who God is able to use. That it's like, um, okay, the scripture that's coming to me, exactly, yeah, my heart has gone here, thank you, Jesus. The scripture that's coming to me is, um, I was literally watching um, a reality show. She's a Christian. She has a number of children um, and she was reading to them she was talking about the scripture about those just standing those working two of them were working two men were working they got work those were standing they started the work halfway and they still got the same amount of money than those who had already began the work and obviously, there will be conflict. Obviously, there will be conflict. If you guys can remember the scripture, you can add it at the comment um, box. But it's like those who have started the work. They started the work. They went to work. The two, there were a couple of them that were standing while the others, the others were working. And they began the work halfway, but they still received the same pay. They didn't receive half of the money because they started halfway. They received the same amount, even though those, had, those um, who had already started, you know, a couple of, you know, years. You know, the Bible didn't say the time length, but the years or whatever, you know. So I believe this is what is going on in the churches right now that you know people are receiving people are receiving gifts people are receiving gifts people are doing extraordinary things for, for, for the kingdom of God and whether it be jealousy whether it be witchcraft whether it be manipulation you know has caused them to fall away from the 99 it has caused them to fall away from the 99 and they are not being seeked nobody is seeking it says seek that which has gone astray and it has a question mark seek that which has gone astray like are you going to seek that which has gone astray are you going to seek that which has gone astray you know I don't know how, I'm just trying to be sensitive. I want my words to come out. I want the Holy Spirit to, <laughs> to speak through me, you know. But honestly, you know, we really need to pray about this. We really need to pray about this and, um, you know, help those, us, the remnant, if you can relate, and those who are still within the 99, um, and have a shepherd that 
you know, God, we're praying that God will touch their hearts to do the right thing. That they will seek the remnant, the ones that have fallen away. That I'm not the only person that's preaching about the remnant. And then the gifts of the remnant will not be attacked, will not be looked upon as who are you? Because the Bible states, even in the mouth of babes, I mean, even God, can, God, if God can put words in, you know, in a, a animal's mouth to stop someone from going in the wrong direction, you can't now look upon an individual and think that God is not using them. So I want that mindset for us to pray that that mindset is changed. That mindset is changed, whether it be a woman, whether it be a woman, Wherever God has put words in a woman's mouth for you to listen. So we're asking God to, to change the hearts of the shepherd and the 99, to seek, to go out and seek for those who have gone astray with a pure heart, without bad intentions, without jealousy, without the plotting and planning of how to make money. You know? So we're praying now um, for the remnant, the 99, we're praying for the 99, we're praying for the shepherd, and we are praying for the remnant, most importantly, that they do not fall into the trap of the enemy. Because I've, I've, I've literally been watching a remnant, he is so anointed, and he has gone the, he has, he has literally gone the other way. He has gone the other way. You know, he went from, I like, watched his um, progress, he has, gone from you know attacking a bit to um, you know kind of I think he's trying to find his place but he's literally you know I think he's known as the pastor who the ex-pastor or something like that I don't know if you guys have heard about him but he's like an ex-pastor he's literally preaching about you know this is not serious you know what his experience you can tell he's a remnant you can tell he's gone through a lot you can tell he wasn't handled, you know, whatever happened to him wasn't handled well. You can tell there was definitely manipulation and there was witchcraft. And we're praying, Lord, now let's just go into our prayer now, that we're praying, Lord, that the remnant will come back to you, however you want it to look like. It is going to be how you want it to look like. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that we are asking you to guard the hearts of the remnant that they don't fall. Your word says that we are going out as sheep among wolves, that we do not fall into the trap and the snare of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the remnant is remembered. Whatever it be, they find themselves and build the zeal, the zeal that you call Zion, that we have, we have again the zeal for Zion, that we have again the zeal for, your, for, for Zion, as your word says, that we have again the zeal for Zion, the building up of Zion, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm just going to read this scripture. And this scripture is found um, in Isaiah 34. Sorry, Isaiah 37. Chapter 37, verse 31. It says, and the, survi and the surviving remnant. Do you understand? The surviving remnant. This is the beginning of this scripture it states the surviving remnant i'll say it again is isaiah 37 um, chapter 37 verse 31 it states and the surviving remnant what has happened that the bible is talking and saying the surviving remnant means that some of them have died whether it be physically or spiritually they are dead like the guy i just spoke about you know, he has gone so far from God because of whatever he, you know, whatever has happened to him in, in ministry work. You know, we need to continue to pray for them that they come back to God. So it says, and the surviving remnant of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go a remnant. And out, of the, and out of Mount Zion, a band of survivors. Out of Mount Zion, a band of survivors. 
a band of survivors. It is a serious, serious situation. Wolves, wolves are out there. Yeah, that's it. Wolves are out there. They can look like us. They can look like wolves. The Bible is now asking us to pray. The Bible is asking us to prophesy and speak into existence this scripture. Right? And, the, and out of Mount Zion, a band of survivors, the zeal of God, of the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Amen. So it's the Spirit of God. It is the zeal of the Spirit of God that he's going to put within us and those who are appointed by God to pull them back or to rebuild. You know, um, I forget the scripture. Is it um, Gideon, right? Who wants to go back out and leave his master? Is it Gideon or um, you guys can tell me in comments. <laughs> um, he wants to go back. He wants to leave his master and rebuild the temple that he heard about the temple being broken and you know he had to take we had to you know he he appointed people in special positions because he was being attacked because he was trying to rebuild the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this right so the Bible says for out of um, Jerusalem shall go a remnant and out of the mount and out of Mount Zion, a band of survivors is like a rebuilding. God is not telling us to go back. Sometimes it could be a situation where um, our heart is humbled. And, you know, the remnant goes back. And, if, you know, there's forgiveness. And there's a level of forgiveness, you know, and it's beautiful. But what I believe that God is saying here is like a new, a new, um, a new band, it's like a new band. It says a new band of survivors, a new band, a new way. A new way of how God is going to do, how God is going to move. Right? Right? Are you with me? <laughs> so what I'm trying to say here now is we need to pray for the zeal of the Lord, of hosts, to be within us. And to enter into the, the remnant, those who are running from church, those who are running from the temple. We are the church. Thank God we are the church. Our body is the church. But we are praying for those who are running from the 99, those who are, have clusters in temples. You know, and, you know, we call the temples churches, but our body is the, the church. When Jesus died, the veil ripped and we became the living temple, the, the living church. So Jesus can now live in us. It states he lives within us. The Bible states this. So the clusters of the 99, we need to pray for them. You know, we're praying, them, we're praying for sound mind, that they have sound mind. We have to pray that they have sound mind. We're praying for the 99 that the remnant fell from. Right? We're praying for the 99 that the remnant fell from. That God is, is healing their minds in the mighty name of Jesus. For the Bible says God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. The Lord that we are asking you, Lord, you said, whether two or three are gathered in your name, so shall it be done. Lord, we are asking you. We are asking you. We are asking you that the, the 99, the clusters of those who are calling themselves your body, we are calling onto, we are calling onto you, we're calling onto the, the, the zeal, the spirit of the Lord to pour out on those, those who are truly looking for you. And let, and let those who are there who are not looking for you be convinced in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, that they will be convinced. And the zeal of the Lord, the spirit of the zeal of the Lord will be poured out on the clusters of the 99. And they will be befitting. It looks like God wants them to now join the remnant. Because the remnant has gone back into some kind of, um, it's like 
God is there, but there isn't an actual、um, shielding. They're not. They're not. They're not people. You know. So it's kind of like where a finger has left the hand, and the finger's gone out to try and do its best. You know, without the rest of the body. But this is why God has to now intervene when He says the the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. That He will. Bring his body parts together. He will br- he will attach everything that is of him, truly of him. He will bring it back together. Jesus is the head, so the neck. Who has he? He's appointed his mouth. He will put everything back together. Right, and we are praying. This is the prayer for this year that the remnant is not forgotten. That we're crying out that the zeal of the Lord is poured out on the remnant. And the thing that you have called it to be, it will form in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, that those survivors, Lord, you kept them for a reason. You kept them for a reason. You kept me for a reason. That it was witchcraft. It was mind manipulation. It was oppression. But you kept me, Lord. You kept me, Lord. You you allowed me to survive. To call the rest. Of my brothers and sisters, and for us to be put back, for us to be put back together, as you have called your body to be, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pour out your spirit, your zeal, Lord. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Sorry if you see anything. I'm facing spiritual attack left, right, and center. But God has kept me. This scripture describes exactly. What has been going on in my life, and every other, um, um, every other、um, individual that can call themselves, every other sheep, let me say, every other, every other sheep that can call themselves the remnant, that we are survivors, and God has kept us for a reason, to the glory of God and to the shaming of the devil, to the glory of God and to the shaming of the devil, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, he kissa de 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 da de kissa. He de 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 da de kissa de 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 da de kissa de 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 da de kissa de 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 da de kissa. He de 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 da de kissa de 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 da de kissa de 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 da de kissa de 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 da de kissa. He de 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 da de kissa de 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 da de kissa. I'm reading now from Isaiah forty six. So Isaiah forty, chapter forty six, to、um, verse three to four, right? And it says, "Listen to me, O house of Jacob, all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been born, born by me, from before your birth, carried from the womb, even to your old age. I am He." And to grey hairs I will carry you. I have made. He <laughs> says, "I have made, and I will bear, and I will carry you and save you." I just want you to know I'm a living testimony that God will never leave you, nor forsake you. God will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never. The devil will try everything possible to get rid of you. But as long as you hold on to God, you hold on to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He will save you. He will save you. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? You're saying, what am I talking about? There's a scripture. Let me just see if I can find it. There's a scripture、um, in my last video. If you can just check it,、um, 
I didn't, I didn't um, carry it. But the Bible states in that scripture that when shepherds come against you, so it's not that the remnant, it's not that the remnant is outside of the 99 and it's a wolf that is outside of the 99 that's attacking the remnant. But it is, the Bible states, check my last video for the scripture, I'll check it and I'll put it, I'll put it um, along with the video. And it's like, the Bible states, when the shepherds, so those he has put in charge of the sheep, when they come against you, God says he will save you. He is the one that will protect you. He is the one that will protect you. He will save you. He will save you. There is no witchcraft. The Bible says no charm, no witchcraft will work against God's nation Israel. You know, the Bible also say, states that, you know, now, you know, the bread might they're eating might be sweet, but it gets bitter. So they might be having a good time now, but the judgment of the Lord is coming. The judgment of the Lord is coming. Let me just read another scripture for you now. The judgment of the Lord is coming. I'm reading now from Second Thessalonians, um, chapter one, verse five. Um, to seven. So it says here, this is evident of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are also suffering. So it's like suffering is part of it. This thing is not for wimps. Kingdom of God is not for wimps. Being a Christian is not for wimps. It's not for wimps. We are warriors. We are all, you know, the the, 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 the the armor of God. God, the armor of God. God is always telling us to put on the armor. You know, the scriptures that states, I have trained your hands for, for your fingers for war and your hands for battle. It's like a train, it's warfare. Warfare, serious warfare, you know? Um, so there is suffering. There is suffering. And um, this scripture continues in verse 6. I'm sorry, yeah, verse 6. It says, Since indeed God has considered it just to repay with affliction those who, those who afflict you and to grant relief to you who are afflicted as well as to us. Right? When the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. So this is like, God preparing us for judgment. This, the, the naming of this scripture, it says the judgment of Christ, the judgment at Christ's coming. So right now, yeah, we are going through judgment. The church is going through judgment. And that's why certain things look kind of quaky. Like it's the literally is the separation of the wheat and the shaft. And things are looking very shaky, shady, however you want to call it. And that's where, that's why the falling away is happening. You know, where, um, you know, I didn't want to really talk about this because it's been more of like a prayer point. But I would just address us um, breaking away the chains of slavery within the 99. That the chains of slavery, mind control, manipulation, is broken off the 99, the sheep, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the remnant in this case were the lucky ones. That in this case, the remnant were the lucky ones. That the Bible says, and the surviving remnant, meaning those that God opened their eyes and removed the veil, to see what, it, what was actually happening right and the surviving remnant of the house of judas shall again take root take root again take root it has been uprooted there has there is an imbalance
for the Bible to say, again, take root downward and bear fruit again upward. Right? So, <laughs> we're praying against the spirit of slavery. The scripture I just read was about those who are, those who afflict, you know, um, I know Nigeria, you know, um, God is, God is leading me. <laughs> I know Nigeria, you know, we sold, in some parts of Nigeria, we sold um, slaves, some, some of our people into slavery. And the Bible stating now that since indeed God has considered it just to repay the affliction, those who, those who afflicted you, right? So meaning, he's talking about, you know, do unto others what you want done unto yourself. So, you know, how our churches look. I think I, without me saying too much, that's pretty much it. That the, those who have afflicted are now being afflicted. Those who were responsible for selling individuals into slavery are now being afflicted. Right? But God has be, have repented on behalf of this country, our country, and God is literally, you know, in the mighty name of Jesus, turning hearts for the better. But we are still praying for the 99, the sheep that are in clusters. They're still, you know, following shepherds in clusters that we're, we're asking God that you free, you break every chain, that the, the gates of hell will not prevail, that every chain is broken within the clusters of the 99. That every chain is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. That the spirit of witchcraft is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. No charm, your, the word, your word says. No charm, no witchcraft can work against your nation of Israel. No charm, no witchcraft can work against your nation of Israel. That any sort of oppressive spirit, manipulating spirit within the 99, Lord, it is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus and the spirit that is chasing the remnant to still find you. That the, the manipulative spirit is still trying to, to oppress the remnant. Lord, we ask you to intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. That you have called us. You have called us and you have called us the remaining survivors. The surviving remnant. And again, you will build your church. You will put us back together. You will put the members of your church back together in the mighty name of Jesus. You will put every lost finger Every lost thumb, every lost ear, eyes, nose, mouth, every part of you that you have called your remnant, you will rebuild Zion in the way you have called it to be and not in the way that man has called it to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So that's what we are seeing. And that's what we've been seeing in our country. Afflict those, the, those who were afflicted. Those who were afflicting people now became afflicted. Those who were afflicting people now became afflicted. That they now became, they now started to, to you know, chain themselves. You know, whether it be in the, the 99 clusters, whether it be, you know, you know, in your own neighborhood. You know, the God, you know, has already in the mighty name of Jesus broken the chains and the gates of hell will not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus in Nigeria and any other country that is dealing with this. That if Lord, that they have repented um, with a earnest heart. I'm praying to you earnestly that, Lord, you will see them through. Also in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, your word says you will never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, your word says you will never leave us nor forsake us. I don't know what they are going through. I don't know what they are going through. Amen. I don't know what they are going through, Lord God, but you have called me to call forth the remnant. 
you have put my attention on the remnant because I have also gone through what the remnant has, has gone through. I have survived the mind control, Lord God. I have survived the witchcraft, Lord God. But it's to your glory and not mine. And I give you all the glory. The, the oppression, the oppression, Lord God, that you are the one that says with, we just need um, to have um, faith as little as a mustard seed. Again, I'm being spiritually attacked, mind control. We just need to have faith as small as a, a, a mustard seed. And I can, and we can speak to that mountain and it can, and we can tell it to be cast into the sea. Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that you're pushing, you are pulling, you are leveling and you are casting every mountain into the sea in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that's called a mountain, everything that you have seen that is a mountain in our lives that we have not, that we cannot see. A sheep that has come, a wolf that has camouflaged itself as a sheep. Lord, we are asking you in the mighty name of Jesus to continually separate the wheat from the shaft. Let us know who is ours. Let us know who is yours. And it won't be so painful. Because once, Lord, we know a thing, we know how to manage it. In the mighty name of Jesus, that every veil that has been put on our brothers and sisters' faces, on the remnant and the 99, the sheep that are still there, Lord God, that you protect them in the mighty name of Jesus, that they too will be sur survivors, that they too will be survivors in the mighty name of Jesus. No, we thank you for forgiveness. We thank you for forgiveness. We thank you for your forgiveness. We're thanking you, Lord God, that you have died for us. And through that, we were able to access God. You became the way. You became the access. That we thank you for, the for, for, for forgiving us. We're thanking you for forgiving us. We're thanking you for forgiving us and showing mercy. That you are the one that has orchestrated everything. You said you knew us. You said you knew us. You said you knew us by me from before you, you, your birth, carried from the womb. You know, that's what this scripture says in Isaiah 46, 3 to 4, chapter 3, verse 3 to 4. You knew us. And even then you were still protecting us, you were carrying us. Even to our old age, I am he. And to gray hairs, I will carry you. God is saying that he knew you. He was carrying you from when you were in your mom's room. You came out, he's still carrying you. Even now you have gray hairs or wherever, whenever you decide, <laughs> God decides you to have gray hair. He's still carrying you. He says, I have made and I will bear. I will carry and I will save you. I think that's one of the most beautiful scriptures I've heard. <laughs> you know, God is amazing. I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for who Jesus is. I'm thankful for who God is and the Holy Spirit. That he has seen us through, that we're here. Look at how, what has been happening in this world. That we are here is a miracle. And we are living testimonies. Even though it doesn't look like it to ourselves at times, we are living testimonies. We are here and we have to be thankful. Especially for those who know exactly what's happening. And you still have life. You still have breath. You can come on this with a sound mind. You can make decisions with a sound mind for yourself. You can handle your life with a sound mind. You have no fear. There is love. There is forgiveness. It is something that... You know, it comes easily, but when it's challenged, it makes you appreciate it more. It makes you appreciate it more. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You have come with a repentant heart. God has forgiven you. God has forgiven you. You have. God is forgiven you. God is forgiven you. 
you know sin is excuse me <laughs> sin is is not is not weighed <laughs> even though yeah there are scales for judgment um sin is sin you know you know someone can sin this much the size someone can sin this much god sees it as sin someone can sin this much and you know another can sin this much god still sees it as sin so I thank you, Lord, that we have come here with a um, repentive heart. You have forgiven us. You died for her, us, and even before we have repented, Lord, you had already you had already um, taken on our sins, the curses. That now we're just standing here, not prideful, sitting, standing, kneeling here. That we don't have a prideful heart. That we can say that where we are right now is because of you. That we know you've already forgiven us, but we have to still admit our sins to you and still beg for forgiveness. You didn't have to, but you did. We don't deserve it, but you did. Lord, and I'd like to speak to those who want to enter into the kingdom of God. Um, Lord, I ask you to touch them. I ask you to touch them that you heal their hearts. That if they are a remnant, Lord, you help them to find themselves in your word. You help them to find yourself. Everyone has a place. That you, you help them to find yourself in your word. And you help them to know what to do in your word. That your word is a shield. It is a sword. It is a part of our armor. Lord, you help them to find you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. I'm going to leave it here. Does anybody have any prayer points? Um, is there anything you would like to share before I jump off? Okay. So I'll just leave it there. Um, I'm posting a video now, so if you're just joining, you can recap. Uh, may God be with you this year. May God have mercy on us. <laughs> may God have mercy on us, and may He. May He. Be the lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path in the mighty name of Jesus. That we stay in his own will and not ours. That his will will be done on earth in our lives as it is in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm off. Have a great week ahead. Bye. <laughs>